Thank you. Thank you. So I'm single, recently divorced, and uh, can be hard to meet women when you look like this. <laughs> it's hard to meet women when you look like an uncle who's the size of a nephew. <laughs> I look like a mild-mannered reporter by day and a mild-mannered reporter by night. <laughs> I look like a fire chief who secretly starts all the fires. <laughs> so see, it can be tough to uh, meet women, right? Because women can be a little shallow. <laughs> all right, OK. Let's not get excited. Yeah, I'll prove it. The top two things that women say that they look for in a guy are confidence and a sense of humor. And they're both lies. <laughs> and I know that because those are the only two requirements for this job. <laughs> Thank you. I just want a guy who's confident, who makes me laugh. I display professional levels of confidence and sense of humor every night, and then I go home alone. So you're full of it, ladies. <laughs> I'm not buying it anymore. I know that what you actually mean by confidence is tall. <laughs> and what you mean by sense of humor? Tall. That's why I wish I could just shave like three inches off my genitalia and add it to my height. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? Because that way I'd be five foot eight and seven inches, I'd be fine with that. <laughs> so I do a little online dating. I use uh, that app called Tinder. I use Tinder's great. You know, it takes like your age and location and then it sends your photo to single women and then they, their photos come to you and you just like swipe, it's so luxurious. Like when I use it, I feel like a weird lonely king, you know? Some lonely king in his castle. Bring me the photographs of all of the single women ages 24 to 42 within a five kilometer radius. I am ready to take a mate. <laughs> then you have to like message a woman. You have to basically message a stranger. What do you say? How do you break the ice in that situation? You can't just say, hi, how are you? Because they get a thousand a day, right? You have to like stand out. So I read this thing that told me that you could like say something autobiographical, like talk about your day. So I was like, all right, well, I'll do that. I matched with this girl. I'll read you an actual thing I sent. I matched with this girl on Tinder. Her name was Christine. And this is what I sent her. I was like, uh, hi, Christine. How's your morning going? I'm just sitting in a coffee shop waiting for the liquor store to open. <laughs> I'm not a drunk. I just thought it opened at 11. How's it going? And she didn't write me back. <laughs> it's all because I'm short, though. It's just because I'm short. It is. I'm fine about it now, but I was so, one night I was so bitter about being a short guy dating that uh, I'm on OkCupid. I'm, I'm on a lot of dating websites. <laughs> But I'm on OkCupid, you have to write like a whole profile about yourself there. So one night I was so bitter, I just jumped on and changed my profile. So this is my current OkCupid profile, okay? Here it is. Uh, 36, male, single, Toronto. My self summary, I'm five foot five, and you just stopped reading. <laughs> what I'm doing with my life, being five foot five. I'm really good at nothing requiring a minimum height of 5'6". Six. <laughs> six things I could never do without. Stools, booster seats, phone books, high chairs. My clamoring skills. And my asthma medication. I spend a lot of time thinking about just trying to stay positive, you know? The most private thing I'm willing to admit about myself, I'm actually closer to 5'4". <laughs> All right, my name's Sarah Lohr. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.